Why is paper size called a fo- The mathematical secret behind every sheet, we use it every day. In printers, offices, and schools. But have you ever stopped and wondered, Why is it called A4? And who decided it's oddly specific size? Minus 210 by 297 millimeters. Believe it or not, a four paper wasn't chosen randomly. It's actually based on one of the most brilliant mathematical principles in history. Let's rewind to 18th century Germany. In 1786, a scientist named Georg Christoph Lichtenberg proposed a genius idea. He imagined a rectangle that could be cut in half, yet each half would keep the exact same proportions as the original. That's the secret of the Aceris paper system. Every sheet, from AO to a 10, has the same shape. When you cut an AO sheet in half, you get 201 south. Cut a 1 in half, and you get to a 2S. All the way down to a 4. It's geometry in perfect harmony. The magic ratio behind it. La raíz cuadrada, de dos to one. This special ratio ensures that every smaller paper still looks identical in shape, just scaled down. That's why when you fold an A4, it fits perfectly into an A5 notebook. Mathematically beautiful, right? But it wasn't always this way. Before sizes, every country used its own random measurements. Letter size in the U.S., Fool's cap in Britain, and countless others. There was chaos in filing cabinets worldwide. Then came 1922. Germany Sten Institute standardized the starting with AO. AO was defined to have an area of exactly one square meter. From there, each smaller size was made by having the previous one. Simple. Elegant. Universal. A4 became the global standard. The perfect balance between read practicality and print economy. Today, more than 150 countries use it, except the U.S. and Canada, who still cling to their old letter paper. So next time you print something on an A4 sheet, remember, you're holding a centuries-old fusion of math, design, and logic in your hands. It's not just paper, it's geometry you can write on.